Here's a question, Coach. Dodgers spring training, they're 9-2 and two right now. Dodgers unbelievable payroll. Very impressive roster. Is this season a referendum on Dave Roberts? Dave Roberts' career record is 753 and 443. He's got a 630 winning percentage. However, postseason, he's only 45 and 39, one World Series. In the last three years, the Dodgers have won 317 games. They've won only one playoff series, and they're 7 and 12 in the postseason with all this talent. So is it on the manager? Is it on the players? Is it on the analytics? Is this a referendum year on Dave Roberts? Uh, I don't know if it's a referendum year. I will tell you this. I think a lot of this goes to Andrew Friedman in his front office. Ah, there's a second guy in the studio that thinks the same thing. Well, I'm going to tell you why, Lee. Is I, I think, um, you know, during the regular season, I, we've seen it with a lot of teams, like Oakland, you know, when Bob Melvin was there. You know, you can navigate through a 162-game schedule, mix and match and guys, uh, you know, uh, over a, the long haul. But come playoff time, it's, it's a different a animal, a totally different animal. And you got to trust your players a little bit. And I think the Dodger front office, they go into those playoff games. It's too much scripted out. you got to go with your gut feeling when you, you got a big-time pitcher out there. You know, you're not going to pull him after four and a third unless he's in really – dire straits and, and we've seen the Dodgers do it and do it and well, do it again and it looks like Dave Roberts is over managing which he is but he's getting a directive from up top and it's that simple I think anybody that's been around the Dodgers for any length of time uh, knows exactly what's going on I think it's more of a front office issue than it is a Dave Roberts issue but with that being said the offensive players uh, I think Mookie Betts he, he didn't get a, a hit in that playoff series last year I, I think a lot of the players have to uh, offensively, they've got to take the brunt of that. But as far as the way the pitching went, I'm putting that more on the front office than Dave Roberts. So do I. And it's happened, and it's happened, and it's happened. How many years in a row, how many series in a row about overuse of the bullpen, early use of the bullpen, inserting Kershaw in the bullpen, Scherzer, et cetera. But like you, I tend to think that came because it came in a memo from the analytic guys upstairs. John Riley, have you got an opinion? I do, but I don't, I'm trying to debug my microphone. Okay. Says, you guys just keep going. Okay. Final Dodger comment. So what do you think changes? Otani, Yamamoto, Glasnow, and Paxton. How really good are they going to be? Well, if they can stay healthy, they're going to be absolutely fantastic. Obviously, Otani's not going to pitch this year. And to be honest with you, Lee, even before he signed with the Dodgers last year on the talk show, I was saying, you know, whoever signed him, they ought to make him a closer. Rather than being a starting pitcher and you know go through all that rigmarole and and wear and tear on him, let him close out games three days a week. I mean, one inning, uh, three days a week is not going to hurt you. Where those innings add up, and you know he's got great arm action. And normally, the old saying used to be, guys with bad arm action, you put them in the bullpen because appearances aren't going to hurt them, but innings are. Well, Otani's coming off a, a second severe, and I don't know exactly. Nobody's seen everything's a, a secret with him. We don't know exactly what the, the injury was and what the surgery was. You know, we presumed it was Tommy John, but I don't think it was maybe uh, as serious. But you know, after two serious arm injuries, put him in the bullpen, let him swing the bat, and let him let him be your closer. Okay, we go from Dodger baseball. 